Here's a question on sequences. If you haven't had a go at this question already, do pause the video and try it now. Okay, so we've got 7, 12, 17, 22, right down the next term. So we should be able to spot that it's going up by 5 each time. So we're adding 5, adding 5, adding 5. So if we add 5 onto that, we get 27. We could spot that it's going 7, um, 12, 17, 22, 27, 32, 37, 42, 47. Give a reason for your answer. The most obvious one is you're adding, adding 5 each time. But you could explain it in the sense that it's going 7 and 2, 7 and 2, 7 and 2, so it's going to be 27. Um, work out the 10th term in this number sequence. Well, you could just carry on and count up, which is probably the, the safest way. 27, 32, 37. 42, 47, and so on until you get to the 10th one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 would be 52. Hopefully we spotted that it always ends in 2 and 7. Robert says the 100th term in this number sequence is 504. He is wrong. Explain why. Well, the key here is the 4 on the end. From what we've seen so far, the sequence only ends in uh, the sequence always as a 2 or 7 on the end. So each number is either ending in 2 or 7 and that's the clearest reason for why it's not it's got a 4 on the end.